Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech. Today I'm bringing you the fifth episode of the YouTube Guide series, and in this episode we will be talking about the best video editing software for your YouTube channel. So continuing the trend that this series goes along with is uh, we are going to be talking about both free and paid software and also uh, software for a lot of different platforms. So no matter who you are, where you are, what your financial state is, or what computer you're using, this series should apply to you. Um, without another way guys, let's just get into it. So starting off here, uh, we are going to look at our free category and we're going to look at our uh, Windows option, which is called Lightworks. So Lightworks is something I stumbled across recently and it's a free piece of software. There is also a premium version. Uh, just to start us off very quickly, the only difference between the free and premium version is with the premium version, you can render in 1080p, and with the free version, you can re render at a maximum of 720p. But a lot of game gaming channels only upload in 720p, so it's kind of interesting. It's not a huge difference. Um, but yeah, just that's the difference. Uh, but without out of the way, Lightworks is a really, really clean piece of software. Um, it's really simple, yet quite professional, I think. It looks really nice, and it has a very nice interface. It's kind of taking an FL Studio kind of approach to the interface. You can literally move everything around, and they kind of, they're all freeform, uh, if you understand what I mean by that. Um, but basically, it's actually really nice. It has a lot of features, a lot of resources online, which surprised me. I looked up stores and stuff, and there's a lot of resources online for it. Um, which is really good. So if you are going to start and you just want something basic to start out with, I would recommend Lightworks. Um, but yeah, free software, uh, not much more you can ask for for something that costs zero dollars. <laughs> Continuing on in our free category, but moving on to products for a Macintosh or OS X. Um, basically, I would recommend iMovie. Now, some people will disagree. Honestly, I do think iMovie is the best piece of software that's free for video editing. I've used it before and I think it's actually pretty intuitive, it's pretty simple, um, and the amount of resources that are out there online for it is just incredible because a lot of people use it. I mean, a lot of big channels still use it, surprisingly. Um, and then if you do want to invest in something in the future that's bigger, you can go move up to Final Final Cut Pro X, which is just similar, but a bit harder to learn, but you know, it's just, you know, it's a good stepping stone. So I think starting out with iMovie is definitely something I'd recommend doing. Uh, just a very simple interface, very clean, it has a lot of music, resources, sound effects all packed in it, it's just titles, everything, like, it's it's pretty amazing. So, um, as much as I hate on iMovie when I have to use it, I, I do think it's a really good place to start. So moving on to our budget category, I'm going to be talking about the same software for both Windows and Mac because it is, um, it does work on both, so that's really good. So it's basically called Wondershare, Wondershare Filmora. So if you have done a little bit of research on this topic yourself, you might have already found this software under the free category in other videos. Yes, you can get a free version of this, but the thing about it is you have a huge watermark right in the middle of your video. So that is unacceptable. Personally, I just think that'll just push people away from your channel and you just want to make professional looking content, right? So. I would not recommend the free version at all. I mean, if you want to try it out and see how you like it before you buy it, 100% by all means, that's what it's for. But um, no, I would not recommend it for actual video production. But to put it simply, Wondershare Filmora, the budget version is really, really good. Clean and central, simple interface, um, has really professional animation resources actually for motion graphics and stuff. And, it has, it, and, and despite it being very simple, it has a lot of features, actually packs a lot of features surprisingly, so that is really, really good. Um, now, just for pricing, just very quickly, comes in at $30 a year or a lifetime license of $50, but if you are a student, you can get it even cheaper, so you can get up to 60% off, which is really nice. And also, once you reach 1,000 subscribers, you can get um, it for free if you post a review of it. So I'm not doing this here, there's not a review, but <laughs> that is that would be an option for me, I could get it for free, and uh, you can too if you reach that milestone as well. So that's really, really nice that they're supporting people that are working in this community um, on YouTube and other websites similar to this. Um, but yeah, that's one. Uh, that's Wondershare, Wondershare <laughs> Filmora. Hard to say for some reason, but um, yeah, really good reviews and it's a really good piece of software for the price, so yeah. So now moving on to the price doesn't matter, just the best video editing software in my opinion. So there are going to be some 
uh, so there, there is some software I'm missing out on, right? Because there's a lot of editing software out there that costs a ton that professionals use. But I'm talking about the two main ones that YouTubers use and the ones that I've um, experienced and I've, uh, you know, had firsthand knowledge with and other people use that I know. So for Mac, Final Cut Pro X. Uh, Final Cut Pro is pretty amazing. So like in the tech community, a lot of people use it. Um, and a lot of people like the the amazing thing about it is its render times are ridiculous like you can render 4k footage um really quickly and, and it's just like a light and efficient piece of software so you can like be editing 4k footage on a relatively low power machine um and it'll still get through it which is awesome so like props to um final cut for being able to do that so uh yeah final cut's a really powerful piece of software and you have lots of options lots of features but it being one of the more popular pieces of software in the world right now, um, it has so many tutorials, resources, and uh, all that good stuff online. So it's a really good option if you're looking, if you are on a Mac and you're looking to step up your video editing game. Now moving on to the multi-platform best editing software you can get, and also what I use. Um, or sorry, when I say the best editing software you can get, this is what I think this is my opinion. Obviously, some people will disagree, but it's just what I think. And that is the Adobe Creative Cloud package. So not only is this video software, it comes with things like Photoshop, Lightroom, um, Dreamweaver, I think is the website design one, uh, Muse, another website uh, design thing that I've tried to use. Just so many things, so many amazing things that Adobe Creative Cloud provides. But in terms of video editing, you have Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. Oh, and Adobe Media Encoder for rendering. But Adobe Premiere Pro, is very simple and it's what i'm using right now i'm staring at it right now as i'm doing this voiceover um basically premiere is just a simple interface and it has like some effects and features and stuff but it's just really really well set out for editing and you can just move everything around how you want to make it look how you want um so it suits you well um but yeah paired with after effects it's it's just insanely powerful because After Effects is where you're, uh, if you saw those animations at the start of the video, all done in After Effects. Um, so you can do animation um, like that. Uh, following on from that, you can do special effects and just awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Call of Duty edits, a lot of those, if you've seen those, um, a lot of those are done in After Effects. So when it comes down to it, the these softwares, th this software put together is just very powerful and it's one of the industry standards at the at the at the moment now so it's pretty awesome um now the reason they are split up is because if after effects and premiere were in one program i feel like it'd be very complicated um but, but splitting them up makes premiere much more efficient uh but also much more simple um so i really like how they've done that uh but yeah overall i think that is the best piece of software or package you can get um, it is very expensive, I will be honest, but if you're a student, you can get it much cheaper. So check out the deals down below um, for that. But um, yeah, that's what I'd recommend if you want to get into YouTube and you have some money to splash and invest into it. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I said in this video, definitely leave it down below. Any feedback, anything like that, please tell me. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Um, all the links that you will need are in the description. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. And I got this soda.